Hello again, my name is Ernest Minu. Let's settle for all the details now. Minority Chief with Muntaka Mubarak says claims by Majority Leader Oseche Mensa Bonsu that two MPs have not tested positive for COVID-19 is a lie. Majority Leader at a news conference in Parliament yesterday dismissed media reports suggesting that two parliamentarians and 13 staff in Parliament have tested positive for COVID-19. But speaking to Daniel Dazi on Prime Morning on the Joy Prime channel, today the Muntaka Mubarak uh, insisted the infected persons were informed of their status after the Speaker of Parliament directed mass testing of members and staff of the House last week. What happened in Parliament and what you've heard that was being said is the fact, is the truth. What happened? The understanding was that not all MPs and staff have tested. Okay. So are we going to create this panic so that the few that are left to test will not go forward to test? Or we are going to find a way of getting everybody to test mm. so that we would know the scope of our, of our challenge mm. and how to deal with it? Perfectly, mm. I agree with that. But once the information goes out, if you ask me, how would I have communicated or responded to that? I would have simply said, that, look, we want to plead with the Ghanaian public, especially the media, in reporting this that, look, we are not done with the testing. Please don't create panic. Let us finish the testing by Saturday. And when it becomes necessary to communicate to you on anything that has happened, we will do that. And leave it at that. Mm. But when you go out and you know that what happened is a fact, and you, 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 I don't know whether the, what the intention was, and you, you lie to the people that pay us, you are doing three things. You are endangering the life of the rest of the MPs. Mm -hmm. You are endangering the life of the rest of the staff. Mm -hmm. You are endangering the life of the general Ghanaian population. Mm -hmm. When they started, when they finished the testing, yeah. initially they were calling one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. Then they had this discussion with us. I mean, I'm the whip on the minority side. Okay. That look, the numbers are huge. This is what we want to do. Can you put on your, your platform all those who do not receive call from us who have tested for Wednesday and by Saturday they have not received a call from us should assume they are negative and okay. we only call those who are positive. Okay. I can finish. Okay. Now, when they have tested Wednesday and Thursday and on Wednesday one MP and one staff tested positive. And on Thursday, one MP and 12 staff tested positive. Mm. They have to do contact tracing. Mm. They have to isolate these persons. Mm. Have, has that been done? Yes. So far as I'm concerned, yes, that has been done. And they are now continuing with the, the contact, contact tracing. tracing. Because then we said, then they just understand that if you test everybody, they automatically gives the opportunity for almost every other person around the house to be tested. I, I, and I say this, I mean, with a lot of pain, because I believe that national interests must be protected at all times. Have you spoken to the leadership of parliament and the public affairs department after you had that news conference? I called the public director. I said, Did, I've seen something signed by you, because, I mean, today you have a lot of fake news going around. Mm. So I called and said, ah, did you sign this? And she said, yes. I said, who told you that? And she mentioned the wrong one. I said, look, that was a lie. Why must we lie to the public? What did she say when you told her this? Because obviously, she will not be around the table that this will be discussed. Mm. So she will not know. To be fair to her, she will not be able to, to tell. But the one who told her. Who is that? The majority leader, of course. At least that's what she told me. 